So this is my con story. The year 2003, I was really desperate for work. I needed something to do. And I happened to go through a newspaper. And I saw an advert for a fine artist. There was a job available for a fine artist. This being one of my strengths, I was so excited. I, you know, you never come across adverts for fine artists in the newspaper. So I quickly applied, they, you know, called the number and they said, yeah, uh, please come in. We're based in Parklands, Nairobi. How's this, this, this? Come, come and sit for the interview. So I went there and I found these two young ladies of Asian background. Uh, they seemed very trustworthy. They were young, they spoke very well. And uh, they gave me a few tasks to do. They started me off with a sketch, if I could sketch it, so they gave me a picture, if I could copy what was in that the picture and sketch it, and I did it, and they liked it, and they did another one, and did another one. By the end of the day, I think I had done probably about 10 sketches. And they told me, no, your work is fantastic, I think your, one, your, 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 your ratings are really high, we might call you in for a second interview, uh, or a third one perhaps, because you have, you've got many people who want the same position. I was fine, no problem. So I went in a second time, I went in a third time. The third time I went in, I found another young man and a young lady also being interviewed. So we sat together the whole day doing different types of, I mean like really elaborate things. I should have asked myself a question at this point, like by this time you should be able to gauge my skill. But, you know, desperation and they look like, you know, they have, they, they kept on talking about this job, it was really big, it was international. And I figured, well, uh, that's the kind of rigorous interview that somebody of that position would, would, would require. And then they told us we would get results, I think after about two weeks, we would get to know who was selected. And then the two weeks passed and then they called me and said, oh, we are so sorry. Uh, your work was really good, but we went with someone else. Naturally, I forgot all about it. About six months later, I bump into the other young man who was being interviewed. We bump into each other in the streets. And um, he goes like, hey, how is your new job? And ask him, what, what new job? He says, but you are the guy who was selected for that job. I said, no, I wasn't selected. But they told me that you, you're, the, you're the one who got the job. And in fact, this is, they showed me a calendar printed in Germany with your artwork. I was devastated. I was like, these people told me that I didn't get the job, and that was it. And we forfeited all the artwork that we did, and that was it. I went looking for them, went back to their home. Of course, the, the security guards wouldn't let me in. I tried calling the numbers, the numbers wouldn't go through. And uh, at some point, well, I thought I should pursue it with the authorities. But when I thought, but on what grounds? Or how can I prove that that work was mine? Because we didn't even sign the work to make matters worse. So there I lost a fortune to these guys. I don't know how much money they may have made out of all the artwork they, they collected from us. Yeah. Go to Nairobi, Nawambia, Janjaruka, Uzikoniwe. This is not a kufanya. Niambie ni ni juu. Ani umetoka Nairobi gani wewe? Mimi nilifeel kana ongea mamangu. Ya hizi ni bebe ufala hivyo. Hii ni Nairobi, wezi jua mpaka iko hapa nini? Una expect nifanye nini? Itabidi nifikie kitu ni tradu. Fikirie ni fikirie ni hapa. Mwezi wetu. Nataka pesa zangu. Haya tuingie basi. Look out for the series Janjaruka. 